Hello, and welcome to Plant Crafted Pantry. Today, we are making sweet and sour soy curls. I'm starting by cooking some rice in my Nesco Smart Cooker and Canner. I have three cups of rice in the pot, and I'm adding three and three quarter cups of water. Then closing the lid, making sure the dial is on airtight, and then we'll pressure cook that for four minutes. After you push start, you'll see the chasing lines while it heats up, and then it'll beep when it starts the time. And here's the end of the time. We'll let this sit and release pressure while we cook our soy curls. Here I have three cups of hot water, and I'm dissolving one tablespoon of better than bouillon into it. And then in a large bowl, add two cups of soy curls and pour the broth over them. And we'll let those sit to rehydrate while we chop our veggies. I'm slicing one sweet onion into wide strips and then separating the layers and setting those aside. Then I'm cutting up one orange and one red bell pepper slicing those and then cutting into bite-sized pieces. We'll use about half of each pepper for this recipe, so I'm setting those aside with the onion, and then I'll freeze the rest of the peppers to use later. Now that our soy curls have rehydrated, I drained them and then I'm squeezing out as much water as I can with my hands. I rinsed and dried the bowl, and then I'm placing the soy curls back in and adding one quarter cup of tapioca starch and half a teaspoon each of salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Give that a stir to coat. I heated up a skillet over medium heat and added two tablespoons of oil and the soy curls, and I'm stirring to coat them in the oil. Then we'll let them cook undisturbed for about eight to 10 minutes or until they are nice and brown on the bottom. While those cook, let's make the sauce. I'm draining the juice from a can of pineapple tidbits into a measuring cup, and then adding another can of pineapple juice to get up to one and a half cups. Then adding one cup of ketchup, half a cup of rice vinegar, one third cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. Then we'll whisk that all together and set it aside. Back to our soy curls. Now that they are browned on the bottom, we'll flip them over and brown the other side. Once that's done, we'll separate them with a spoon and then set them aside while we cook the veggies. Now I'm adding the onions and peppers to the same pan and adding two cups of frozen broccoli. Cook these until they start to get a little brown. Add in your pineapple tidbits and then let it cook for another minute or two before adding back in the soy curls and then pour over the sauce. Stir everything to combine and then let it cook for a few more minutes until the sauce is slightly thickened. Now the pressure has released on our pressure cooker, so let's open it up. And our rice is done. So we can get this plated up with a scoop of rice. And a couple ladles of the sweet and sour mixture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try it out and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.